If you guys are having an issue with your sound, woofer it's not powering on, not syncing properly. For example, I have the SPN8-W. I was able to fix it myself, uh, and I fixed quite a few members on Reddit as well. Uh, so today, I'm going to show you that it is fixable. Um, yeah, so originally I did see the YouTube video uh, regarding the SN11RG. Let's see here. Uh, Victorious Production said it could have been the Transformer, but it's not the Transformer because I bought the brand new one myself as well And I still have the brand new one which I'm keeping as a backup which I don't need because I fixed it And I'm currently fixing for everyone else on reddit as well um, So let's get started here Give me a second Got a package from Thomas Jackson in Illinois and we're gonna Get this working we'll test it first to show you it's not working and then we'll boot it up second basically the main issue is lg pushed out an update to the uh, subwoofer and it broke the um the software itself on the spi chip it needs to be reprogrammed in order to start working again. This is the original board, as you can see by looking at the transformer. And it's not that new one where it looks like that, you know. So I'm not, I'm just going to put this on the side. So we're going to work with this one here. To test it, I'm going to take apart my subwoofer, which I've already unscrewed it, mostly. My board is also using the old one. I haven't changed it yet. There's that ribbon cable. Once it's repaired, or if you don't put insert that ribbon properly back on, it will not power on. So make sure you put it back in evenly. Because it needs to detect the daughter board. See, it has a little small board right here inside too. All right, so I'm gonna put mines away. Then we're gonna take get the customers and we'll test it to see if it's not powering on. All right, so I'm gonna put it in. Then we're gonna power it up just to see. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So this one came in from Illinois. Belongs to Thomas Jackson, right? All right, so power cable in, ribbon cable in, we're not gonna connect. My SPN 8-W has the same board as the SPN 11, SPN 5B, so on. All right, so let's power it up and see if there's any light at all. Let's see. All right, so far, nothing at all. No light. I'm gonna unplug the power, just leave it right there. Let's take out the board and I'll show you that I'll reprogram the chip. Alright guys. Let's do this. I got some Tinker gadgets here. So if you guys are wondering, chips like these gets powered by 3.3 volts. I've always tinkered your with gadgets. Work smarter, not harder, right? So, let me plug it in. Wondering what this box is? I have a 12 volt camera box that I no longer use, but I have a different power transformer. Let's see if it focuses. It's a little hard. As you can see there, see? Bunch of crazy wires, right? Basically, here's my on and off switch. When I power on, it's gonna light up, right? There you go. See, guys, see that? So basically, I loaded up my, my firmware here. 
Okay, so let's see if I connect it properly and then if I check the ID, for example, right? It sees the chip. Do you guys see that? Look at that. So I'm going to write the chip right here. Check this out. So it's currently moving with the little progress bar right there. It's not moving yet, but as you can see, it's slowly moving. And I got my other laptop on the side. See, um, let's see if it focuses a little bright there. See, it basically, it, all, it has all the backup of the ROM chip. So that's what it is. So let's go back here. It's, it's still currently erasing. It's getting there. This is Thomas Motherboard in Illinois. All right, it's, it's about to wipe that chip clean off. Almost there. Now we're gonna look at the status here, right? It still says erasing, erasing start, about finished. Now it's programming, look at that. Program pass. Now we're gonna test it out, all right guys? All right, I'm gonna turn this off. Take off my little clip there. All right. I still have all my connectors still there. Put this in. Don't need to screw it because we're just gonna test the board for power. Because earlier there was no power, right? If it flashes rapidly, it means it's trying to pair. So look at this. There you go, guys. There you go. I'll finish. If you guys have any questions, I'll include my um, info on this YouTube video. And uh, yeah, feel free to send me a message. Thanks, guys, and uh, hope you guys enjoy.